that's the last of your bags. Actually, Spike, I've got one last pile of bags over there. Won't you be a dear? Sure. I'll be a dear. An entire week in the fabulous city of Manhattan! Plus, all of my very best friends there with me! Of course we'd all come along to support you during Fashion Week, Rarity. Not that you'll need it. We're sure you'll win. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am that you'll all be there with me! However, perhaps I can show you... What's that? No, it's a magic trick! You know, where I pick a card and remember what it is, and then you put it back in the deck so you can't look at it, and these are tickets to the hottest musical on Bridal Way! You couldn't mean Hinny of the Hills, because that show's been sold out for months. Or could you? I could. I do. Oh, Rarity, you didn't have to do that, but since you did... Yeah! <laughs> Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Come on! a place to stay only a block from the train station in the very heart of this glorious metropolis. Hey, look! There's the theater where Henny of the Hills is playing. Wow, oh. well, Rarity, how'd you manage to get us seats for tomorrow night? Well, I gave some designs to the costume designer, so he pulled a few strings. Cool! Oh. That is what makes Manhattan so splendid and amazing. You do something nice for some pony, and then you never know when they'll do something nice for you. So then you can do something nice for us. Like get us in to see any of the hills. Which is only the best musical in all of Equestria. It must be good if Rainbow Dash is impressed. Normally she doesn't even like musicals. I know. Ponies just bursting into song in random places at the drop of a hat. Who does that? Oh, Manhattan, what you do to me? Such a huge, bustling community. And there's always opportunity to do the friendly thing. If some are grouchy, pay no mind. Surprise instead with something kind. Lo and behold, you may just find. Welcome to the Main Fair Hotel. Please allow me to take those bags to your room for you. Only if you accept this gratuity first. Oh, ho, ho. I'll get you changed. Do keep it all. I insist. Generosity, I'm here to show all that I can give. Generosity, I'm here to set the bar. Just sit back and watch how I live. After you. I thank you. Wow, okay. Some may say, rarity, don't be so big hearted and bold. Treating strangers like their friends. This town's too big and cold. But this is how I play my cards. I'm not about to fold. Where I see.
dresses could soon be displayed in the most glamorous shopping thoroughfare of the most glamorous city in Equestria. Oh, that would be my dream come true. Is there anything left to do we can help you with? Hmm, nothing I can think of. The dresses are all completely finished, all made from a fabulous new fabric I've been developing for months. Stretchy, but not clingy. Shivery, but not showy. Sounds amazing. There's nothing left for me to do but check in at the runway with my dresses by two this afternoon. Well, that's funny, because that clock over there makes it seem like that's only ten minutes from now. Oh, my ribbons and threads. And the runway ballroom is all the way across town. If I don't get there, I'm disqualified. Taxi! Oh, no. We've got to help her find a cab now. I'm on it. Hey, buddy. The line ends back there, buddy. Huh? What? Does every pony in this town want a cab? I'm afraid getting a taxi at this time could prove almost impossible. Please, won't you let her have this taxi? She has somewhere very important to be right away. Not likely. She can get in line like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, it's no use. The cab drivers just drive right past to get to the next pony in line. The wheel works like a charm. So now, which of you nice folks are hopping in? Gosh, and Runway Plaza in seven minutes. Can you make it? Hang on! Ta-da! <sighs> that was close. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Any pony else got a sneaking suspicion we're forgetting something? The dresses! Good afternoon, I'm here for Fashion Week. Every pony's gathered in front of the runway and about to start, so you'll just have to bring your dresses along with you and store them backstage later. My, my dresses? How could I possibly forget them? <laughs> Got them right here, ma'am. Your friends told me you need these in a hurry, so I offered to race them over myself. Anything for that nice mare, I told them. <laughs> with seconds to spare. <laughs> Hello, every pony. Pleased to meet you all. Rarity, I presume. You must be Prim Hemline, the host of this grand event. <laughs> how do you... Miss Rarity, how is it that all your competitors are here half an hour early and yet you arrive seconds before we begin? Oh, uh... <laughs> just lucky, I guess. Once we're done here, you're to finish setting up backstage so you'll be ready for your run-through appointment. You'll show your designs last. We keep to a precise schedule, so let's try to be more than a few seconds early, hmm? Tomorrow is the contest to see which one of you gets to stay to meet top designers all across the city. The rest of you must go home early. So sad. Dismissed. I'm so glad you made it, Rarity. <gasps> me too. But everything just seems to keep working out. Don't you remember me? Suri Polo Mare from the Ponyville Knitters League? Oh, yes, of course, of course. I thought you looked familiar, but then I couldn't place it. You haven't been back in years. Because I moved here to make it in the big city. <laughs> okay. Oh, good for you, sir. Oh, it's so good to see you. And now here we are, competing. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Well, good luck. Oh, I don't need luck. Would you like a hoof with your things? Why, thank you so much. My, your collection is gorgeous. Oh, now. I'm sure your collection is equally lovely, if not more so. That's all right, but nothing like this. Take my culottes, for example. They are simply crying out for just the right accent, but I haven't the slightest notion where I... <gasps> Actually, just a touch of this fabric could be perfect with it. Oh, hey, would you mind terribly if I took a swatch? Oh, not at all. Here, I have loads extra. You're sure? Positive. Well, it's been wonderful getting caught up, and I, I don't wish to be rude, but I need to finish my preparations, and I am a bit late as it is. Hello. I'm here half an hour early for my run-through appointment, just the way Prim likes. Get in line over there. Oh, my. That fabric's gorgeous. Did you make that yourself? Uh, why, yes. It's stretchy, but not clingy. Shimmery, but not showy. And the entire line is in the same adorable pattern that works on everything from skirts to tops to shoes. <laughs> oh, bravo! 
I've never seen anything like it. You stole my fabric! <laughs> I didn't steal it, okay? You gave it to me, remember? I gave you the fabric for accents, not for your whole line. And how could you possibly make all those outfits out of it so fast? Fast? Ha! Coco Pomel here took practically forever. Nearly got me completely disqualified. Well, I wanted to make sure you'd win, so I took the extra time to... Quiet! I pay an assistant to sew and get coffee, not talk. Okay. How could this happen? Oh, sweetie, don't blame yourself. It takes some small-town fillies a while to learn it's every pony for herself in the big city, okay? <laughs> Hope you realize how fortunate you are to have me as a mentor. Now get me some coffee! Oh my gosh, what a great afternoon. That was almost too much fun. Better pace yourself, cause the rest of the day is jam-packed. First, there's the salon appointment to get our veins done. Then our fancy dinner at the Far Afield Tavern. And after that, hitting on the heels! <laughs> is everything okay? You got the dresses the bellhop brought you and everything, right? <laughs> but he said he brought them. And then Suri stole them! <laughs> I let one of the other contestants use some of my one-of-a-kind fabric, and then she turned it into a wardrobe just like mine. <laughs> Only now it looks like I'm the one copying her. My generosity has ruined me, I tell you. Ruined! <laughs> now, Rarity, whatever went wrong, we're all here to help you get through it, no matter what it takes. Sure. <laughs> Come on, Rarity, buck up. All we need is some fabric, and you'll be back in business. <gasps> this new line is going to be marvelous. Perhaps even better than the last. It's daring, it's bold. Perhaps I still have a chance after all. Twilight, sew these pieces together according to that pattern there. You said if we skipped dinner at the Farfield Tavern, you'd order a meal for us to eat while we keep working. Don't fret. It'll be here in an hour. That's not going to be a problem, is it? Well, we're supposed to be watching any of the hills by then. Oh, I see. I go out of my way to get you tickets for a show, and this is how you repay me? By abandoning me in my hour of need? any of the hills tonight and then tomorrow morning when you come to see my fashion show without any fashion to show you can have more entertainment <gasps> oh why look there's our friend rarity going down in flames isn't friendship magic rarity calm down what's gotten into you what's gotten into you oh go ahead see your little show congratulations fillies sounds like you've all figured out already it's every That's the last of them. <laughs> Finally! You're welcome! Let's have another round of applause for Suri Polo Mare's amazing collection! <laughs> that fabric! So original! <sighs> <laughs> well, look who's here. Can you show off your copycat collection? Mm. <laughs> now, Rarity from Ponyville with her brand new line, and I mean brand new, Hotel Chic. My friends, 
They didn't come. What have I done? <laughs> Going to tell them about your fabulous pieces. I have to go. Uh, come back at once! This is unheard of! How do you do, ma'am? Contest going well? No time to talk. I have to find my friends. Oh, uh, they're gone already. I saw them headed out this morning. Oh, no. Back to Ponyville, I imagine. Oh, they worked so hard on my behalf, and I repaid them with unkindness. What have I done? Oh, here you are. Uh, but, miss, I, I, I didn't do anything! Oh, Manhattan, what have I done? Thought of Fashion Week was fun, but I went way too far. My friends gave to me in ways so kind, and I gave them nothing but a hard time. And now alone I stand. moment with Prim Hemline. I have to rush back to Ponyville, but I just wanted to thank her first for... Uh-uh-uh. You best steer clear of Prim for a while. She's pretty furious. Isn't that right? Um, yes. Mm. Here you all are. I can't believe it. I thought you went back home. We missed the show because we overslept. Suri told us you lost. We're really sorry. I lost? You know what? I don't even care. I'm just happy you're all still here after how I treated you. Taking advantage of your friendship the way I did. How could you ever see past it? Yeah, you were pretty rotten. Wow, Applejack. I know your thing is honesty, but come on! Last night we may not have seen you at your best, but we know you. And we would never let one thing like that change how we feel about you. Oh, thank you. You really are the most wonderful friends a pony could have. You know, I already arranged to make it up to you this afternoon. Hope you're all available for an exclusive performance of Hinny of the Hills! <laughs> <laughs> and that is how it's done. <laughs> Pretty clever how I convinced her to stay away from Prim, wasn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't have wanted her to find out the truth now, would we? ever get them to agree to do an extra performance just for us. Remember my costume designer friend who got me the tickets? Well, I offered to make all the costumes for his next show. Um, here in Manhattan? Well, um, yes. It will keep me away from Ponyville for a while. <sighs> but I so wanted you to see this show. And working for this designer is such a great opportunity. We know. We're happy for you, Rarity. We're just sad for us. Mind if I join you? Sure. Come on down. This is the first place trophy for Fashion Week. With my name on it. But I thought I lost. You didn't. You won. Suri was hoping that if you didn't claim your prize, the judges would consider it a forfeit and first place would go to her. So, she lied to make you and your friends go away and... Well, I lied, too. I've worked for Siri for so long, I started to believe that it really is every pony for herself in this town. 
until I saw how generous you were with your friends and how generous they were with you. It made me start believing there was something better for me out there. So I, I quit. I brought you something to say thank you. <laughs> I suppose you'll need a job now that you're no longer with Suri. How would you like to work for my friend making all the costumes for his next show? Main Hutton was simply grand. It was in this magnificent metropolis that I learned that while there are ponies who will take advantage of your generosity, you should never, ever let that cause you to abandon your generous spirit. Nothing feels worse than taking advantage of the giving nature of your friends. 